It used to be back in the 1970s, there were about 80 members of Congress that if you move them from one party to the other, their ideology would have been a fine fit um, in the other party. Now that number is zero. Every single Republican is more conservative than every single Democrat. I think one of the things that, um, that has produced it is the primary elections um, that produce the candidates. Um, in at least House elections, we have um, a process called redistricting where um, districts are drawn in such a way that incumbents really can't lose. Um, so the more worrisome election isn't the election between the Republican and the Democrat. It's between, say, two Republicans in a primary. And then the contest is who can be more conservative um, to those primary voters or on the Democratic side, who can be more liberal. And as a result, we end up with these issue activists who really, you know, um, are true believers in their cause. And they're not interested in compromise, they're interested in a whole loaf. And that's one of the things that produces the polarization that we have these days.